everybody. Um, today I'm going to do a video um, and do a quick little set. Well, maybe not quick, but it'll be a set. I had some stuff floating around on my desk and I decided to clean it off and I found these um, scrap pieces of paper that I had left over from another project I was working on and I decided to um, scour <laughs> all of the scraps and junk that I have on my desk and, and put together some things that match. I kind of have an idea of what I want to do, but I'm going to also at the same time um, improvise with a few things and, and play it by ear and see what we come up with. So let's get started. Um, first, I'm going to be starting off with a 3x3. Three three. It's going to be a 3x3 three three card. Um, piece of craft card stock. It's actually six inches, three by six inches, but you fold it in half at three. So you have three by three. Um, this is again craft card stock. This scrap paper, I know I got it at Target in the little dollar spot. I don't think it has a name and it's been about four or five months since I bought it, so it, I'm pretty sure it's not available anymore. Um, I had these flowers that I punched out from um, Again, another project I was working on. This orange is, I think it's only orange from Stampin' Up. This um, is Bermuda Bay. You're going to be using these. And I grabbed a couple of buttons out of my button collection. And some circles that I had cut out from some other things. Um, and this is definitely Kiwi Kiss. Um, we're going to be using a stamp set, maybe a sentiment, I don't know. Like I said, we'll see how it goes. Okay, the first thing that I want to do is I have this stamp set that I've been using, Cupcakes. Um, it is Paper Studio. And I love cupcakes. And if you are on my blog at all or my Facebook page or watch any of my videos, you know that I do. I, lo I do love cupcakes. <laughs> so what I'm thinking I want to do is... Um, use this little border from that stamp set and border around it and my block is a little dirty I believe I'm gonna just border around that oops no I don't want it that and I'm just gonna take some color box pigment white pigment ink. I was going to emboss, but nah, I changed my mind. Oh. Grab a piece of scrap paper. And the idea that I'm going to go with is trying to border around the whole thing. Just like some doodles. Not anything really dark, something kind of subtle. And because this is pigment ink, it's going to take a little bit to dry. So I'm just going to set this aside and go move on to the next card. This is going to be pretty easy. I think what I'm just going to do is take a piece of the pattern paper. And just... Um, Put this piece at the bottom. Take one of these. I think I'll do the orange one for this one. I am going to sponge around the edges a little bit with some tangerine tango. Okay. 
and I'm going to just adhere that down directly onto the card. Um, I think mm, no. I think I'm going to yeah. Oops. I'm going to sponge around this little circle here. Because I love the sponge. And then I am definitely going to use one of my buttons here, this one, and I'm just going to use a glue dot to glue that down. And you know what? I'm going to take the sentiment stamp set that I used in my last video, um, greetings from the paper studio as well. I just saw a tiny one. I can use this high right here. And these little note cards you can just use for your kids or on a gift. I'm sure most of you all know that. <laughs> I'm just trying to get my clear block here. I'm just going to use some more color box chestnut roan. Just put this high right up in the upper corner here. And I'll complete that one. Okay, I'm going to pretty much follow the same idea. I'm going to use this piece. That on the bottom. And use that one. I'm gonna adhere that straight down onto the card. For this one, I'm going to add a little dimension because I'm going to use this oops, orange flower here and I already sponged it because again it was left over from another project I was working on so I'm just gonna lay that out just like that Sure, why not? <laughs> that wasn't. Huh. It'll do. Let's see. In the corner of that one, I'm going to use this, go back to that same set. I'm just going to grab a little celebrate because this can be, this one can be put on the, on a gift. I'm 
go back to the chestnut. Put that right up in the corner there. And we're done with the second card. See? Okay, so so far we have these two. <laughs> I'm going to go back to that first card that I started. Hopefully that white pigment ink is dry. And I'm pretty much going to follow that same formula. Put this piece of pattern paper on the bottom. Kind of nestle it in there. Um, use this, I guess that's my last flower, so I'm going to use that one as soon as I find my sponge. There it is. Here that straight down. I'm going to put this one like right in the middle. And yeah. Adhere this little dot or circle right in the middle there. And I guess I have to grab another. button from my little button collection here. Too big. I'll use that one. And I'll just use a mini glue dot for that. make this a thanks or hmm yeah thanks we'll change it up slightly <laughs> To the chestnut. Right off to the side once again. And I'm all done. So here are all. I'm going to move these out of the way here. Make sure I remember to have any questions. You can either leave it for me here on YouTube or on my Facebook page, um, The Ink Spot. I do also have a blog, uh, theinkspot76.blogspot.com. Until the next time, I'll talk to you then. Bye.